Let's make a paper-free doodle mosaic. So I do have my pencil, a Sharpie permanent marker, a Micron ink pen, I don't use this, and I also don't end up using my gold jelly roll pen. I had it just in case, but ended up not using it today. I've got my Sharpie creative markers, and of course, I've got my tape. This is going to be our surface that we draw on today. And so you'll get started by taping on a flat, ideally clean, smooth surface. Um, you might want to tape down on glass or acrylic or a wooden table, an artboard like I have here. You don't want to tape on cardboard or paper for this because when we remove the tape, we want to maintain as much adhesive as possible. So for this section, I'm lining these up pretty close together. I don't want them overlapping. But when we do our doodle, we're almost creating a page using the tape. That's how I was thinking about it. And I've got eight pieces here. And I'm also going to do three pieces at the top that are spaced a little farther apart. And I have a different plan for these three. So you'll find out in a moment what we're doing with those. For this bottom section, go ahead and Pencil out your mosaic. This is my same process that I do when I'm using paper. So I'm creating some shapes with these flowy pencil lines. And now I'm coming in and coloring the shapes with my Sharpie creative markers. And this is my third time doing this process on tape only and just be ready for the tape to move around a little bit you might find that the tip of your marker gets caught in the little gap between each piece of tape which is why it's helpful to have them really close together but again you don't want them to overlap because you want each piece of tape to get full color and i'll speed this up for you so you get the point but I also find it kind of fun and enjoyable. Satisfying is, a, is the best word to watch these sped up processes of coloring, like a coloring time lapse. So you can see this very quickly, start coming together. And this part of the process, the coloring took me about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Overall, from start to finish, this entire process took me 55 minutes. Next, you'll take a black paint pen and just trace over your pencil lines. We're really defining those shapes. Once everything is outlined, you can start doodling. So maybe you have some go-to favorite Zen Tangle patterns. You could experiment here. With new doodles, you could just scribble, make it easy. We're doodling on tape, y'all. So don't get too precious with your mark making and just let yourself kind of really enjoy your flow state. And you may even want to do repetitive patterns or simple dots and lines would also work just fine. So just make this fun, keep it easy. Now I'm bringing in my white Sharpie creative marker and adding some accent details to really just bring dimension and make this pop a little bit. I didn't end up bringing in my Micron ink pen or my gold jelly roll pen. I had them on hand just in case, but didn't really feel like I needed to bring in any gold today on this one. Okay, now let's tackle these top three pieces. So I wanted to do one color and one pattern for each of the three pieces of tape. And I'm gonna stick with primary colors so we've got red, yellow, and coming up, blue. And then I'm gonna do polka dots 
just again, keeping it really easy and simple. We'll do some curved lines on the yellow and some easy swirls on the blue. Okay, let's start peeling this tape off. Oh, that looks really cool. I want to put this on a piece of white paper so we can really see what this looks like. I'll bring in my sketchbook here. Let's tear some of these pieces up and you know, you could take some time and really have fun adding these to your art journal process, maybe some scrapbooking. I'm just gonna lay some pieces in here so you get an idea. Um, I think these look awesome. I am kind of obsessed with how this turned out. And then we'll take these last long strips and just add them to our white piece of paper just so we can see them. That's just for some visual enjoyment there. Yeah, I think these look great. I kind of, yeah, I want to experiment more with this tape. Let's put down our primary colors. So I tore these up into smaller pieces as well. And again, I'm just placing them in here so you can see them. As far as the adhesive goes, these are sticking really well. You know, for longevity, if this is going in like an art journal or scrapbook, you might want to glue the tape down. But here we can see our pieces of tape on white paper. And I had done a batch earlier. I did some examples of gift wrapping with the tape, and I think these are adorable. And there you have it. That's our Zen Tangle or our doodle meditation using tape. Thanks for watching.